lovelies welcome back to the channel i really want to appreciate all of you guys especially my wonderful subscribers thank you so so much and compliment of the season if you are new to the channel you are highly highly welcome in this channel i teach about hair growth and fashion tutorials please sus subscribe to join this wonderful family okay thank you so much Today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a 6 pc stroke, 8 pc princess that bustier top for, uh, for a big size bust. Okay? I just want to show you my simple method of cutting the top and I hope you find it helpful. Okay? So please, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to support this ministry. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, and please watch the video to the end to understand better. So with that being said, let's get started. So guys, for the sake of beginners, this is what I mean by six pieces princess that bust their top. It's for six pieces. And then this one is for eight pieces, okay? So it has four pieces in the front and four pieces at the back, making it eight in number. And it has three lines one, two, three. All right, so we are going to cut this eight pieces, uh, Princess Dad Bustia top, right away. All right, so I'm going to show you how to cut the six pieces top as well. So, yeah. This is the material we are going to use. I'll be cutting out the first material to work with now. So, for us to cut out the first material to work with, we are going to consider the bust, the waist, and the hip. Anyone that is the biggest will make use of it, if that makes sense. So, here we have bust of 44, waist of 44, and hip of 46. So I'm going to be making use of the hip measurement, which is 46, because it's the highest measurement. Okay? So, and then I'll be adding extra allowance of 12 inches. 12 inches, okay? Uh, you can actually add 10 inches depending on how, how full you want the top to be. But I'm going to be adding 12 inches extra allowance, okay? Please pay attention, you need to understand how to do the cutting out so that you will not miss you will not miss it, okay? So now I have already folded the material into two, I just folded it into two, okay, like so. And then I'm going to measure the length of the top. The length of the top is 26. I'll be adding extra two inches allowance to the length of the top okay so i'll have 28 inches here after i take the length of the top then i'm going to place my tape like so at the horizontal part to measure the hip my hip measurement okay the hip measurement i'm working with is 46 i'll be dividing 46 by 2 because the material is folded into two okay so 46 divided by 2 will give me 23. Then I'll measure 23. So this is my 23 here. Then I'll mark. Okay? After I measure the 23 inches, I'm going to be adding extra 12 inches allowance. This is for the flay. And the allowances I will need okay so from here from the 23 inches I measured I'll, I'll add extra 12 inches like I said before so this is 12 inches then I mark so I'm going to cut from here out so guys, I've just finished cutting it out and this is what we'll have. Okay, so I'll be making use of this one. 
for now. This is the first material we need for the top. Okay? So, I'm going to open it up here because it's folded into two. I will separate it so that we we'll have two materials, two pieces of materials. Okay? I finished cutting it. Now we have two pieces. Okay? So, we are going to fold it again. So, remember this is the length. This is the length. The length of the top. So, we are going to fold along the horizontal axis. Okay? Like this. We are going to fold it like this. So, this is how you fold it. Okay? So, now we have, we have two pieces of the material unfold. I'm going to start by cutting this side. These two sides. Okay? So, I'm going to take one. I'm going to take one and use it to cut the two sides of the front side. If that makes sense. Then I'll keep... This one will be for the two sides of the back side. Alright? So, I'll go, I'm going to set it aside. And then, we are going to work with one. So remember the length of the top is 26 inches and I added 2 inches allowance making it 28. That's the length of the top. Okay? So we are going to start by adding the shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement here is 16. 16 divided by 2 will give me 8. Then I mark. My neck width is 3.5. You can change it to any measurement of your choice. Then I mark. Then I'm going to add my shoulder slope of one inch. And I'll connect it to the neck width. I'm going to add shoulder allowance of half inch and mark. Remember not to forget the sh shoulder allowance. It's very important. Okay? So next, I'm going to I'm going to measure my armhole depth. My armhole depth here is nine inches. The formula for armhole depth is your bust circumference divided by six plus one point five inches. Okay. So after I did my mass, I was able to get eight point eight eight eight, and I approximated to nine inches. So my armhole depth is nine inches. Then I'll mark. 9 inches so I'm going to connect it half of my armhole is 4.5 then I mark this is to make our armhole curve off. okay so now for us to create the armhole curve I'm going to come to this armhole depth and I will measure the armhole line like this I'll measure my bust circumference. My bust circumference here is 44. 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches. Then I'll mark. Yeah, so I'm going to connect the line to that place. So to create the armhole curve, I'm going to come in by half inch. And from this point, I'm going to connect it to the shoulder and then connect it to the bust measurements like so so now we have our armhole curve so the next thing I'm going to do is to add my vertical measurements by now you should know what it what I mean by vertical measurements vertical measurements are measurements from shoulder to bust to bust point to under bust to waist to hip Okay, that is the vertical measurement. Alright? So, from shoulder, I'm going to measure my bust point. From this point, from this shoulder allowance, I'll measure my bust point. So, the bust point I'm working with is 11 inches. Then I mark. Then, under bust, 15 inches. Then I mark. My half length is going to be 17 inches. Then I mark. Okay? I'm going to rule out the lines so that it will be very clear. Okay? So now we have the bust point. 
the under bust and the half length. I'm going to create the this line here, which is the princess line. All right. So to do that, I'm going to come to the bust point. This is the bust point, and I'll measure my bust span. That is the distance from one bust to the other. Okay. You can call it the nipple to nipple measurement. All right. So for this custom, her nipple to nipple is eight inches. 8 divided by 2 will give me 4 inches. Okay, I'll be adding half inch sewing allowance to that, making it 4.5. All right, so 4.5 is the bust span. So I'm going to come to the bust point and I'll measure 4.5 and mark. So, whatever I have at the bust, bust point. This is 4.5. I'm going to remove half inch and mark at the under post. So here I have 4.5 minus half inch will give me 4 inches. So I'll come to the under post and measure 4 inches here and mark. Okay, 4 inches. And then to the half length, I'll also measure 4 inches and mark. Yeah, I'm going to connect the lines. So for us to determine where to place this line or the armhole, I'm going to measure this armhole curve, okay? And whatever I have, I'll divide it by 2. So I measure and I have 11 inches. 11 divided by 2 will give me 5.5. I'll measure 5.5 here and I'll mark, okay? So I'm going to place this princess line to this place which is 5.5 inches okay so now we have our princess line the next thing we are going to do is to create the princess bustier now so for us to do that I'll come to the under bust line this line is under bust line okay I'll come to the under bust line and I'm going to measure 2.5 inches. Remember, we are cutting for a big size bust. Then I'll come to the half length and also mark 2.5 inches as well. Then again, I'll come to the hemline, the length of the top, and mark 2.5 inches as well. So I'm going to connect this line. So the next thing I'll do is to come to the the bust line this is the bust point then I'm going to come down by 1.5 inches like so and mark 1.5 and mark the reason why we are coming down by 1.5 is so we create a very smooth curve so I'm going to connect from here to here with a curve so we are going to come to this armhole line and then I'll measure 2 inches here, okay? So if it's for medium side, remember you measure 1.5. So we are going to share the measurement, the 2 inches along this princess line, okay? So 1 inch up and 1 inch down, okay? So 1 inch up and then 1 inch down. Okay, so we have all together we we'll have two inches. So the next thing is to come to the bust point again and then we'll go up by 1.5 inches and mark. So this is 1.5 inches here. Okay. I hope you are you are following. So I'm going to connect this to this one inch here. And then from here, I'm going to connect it to this 1.5 again. So the next thing we are going to do is to extend this line here. I believe by now you should know the reason why we extend the line. You need to extend this line so that when you sew it, after sewing it, it will match up with this one. To be, it will be equal to this line. Okay? The two of them will align together. That is the extent, the reason why we are, we are going to extend this line. Alright? So for us to extend this line, we are going to 
use the measurements that we added here to do the extension. I hope you understand. So now we added 2 inches here. We are going to measure 2 inches here to extend this line. So I'm going to measure 2 inches here and mark. So I'm going to extend the line by 2 inches. Whatever you have here, use it to extend the line. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So I haven't extended the line. Then I'm going to add these 2 inches to the armhole line. So I'm going to create the new armhole curve now. So now we have a new armhole curve. Okay? I hope you understand. Alright? So at this point, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Alright? And subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you! So guys, next thing we are going to do is to add our horizontal measurement, which is the bus circumference, the round on the bus circumference measurement. Okay? So, my bust circumference is 44. 44 divided by divided by 4 will give me 11 inches. Then I'll mark it here. Then I'm going to be adding extra uh, sewing allowance of 4 inches. Okay? These 2 inches here, I'll add it to this place. And then 2 inches sewing allowance, making it 4 inches. Then I mark. Okay? I'm going to extend the armhole line to that point, okay? And then join them together. So my underboss circumference is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inches. Then I mark. I'll be adding this 2.5 inches here, plus 2 inches sewing allowance. Making it 4.5 inches. 4.5 inches. So I'm going to extend the line to this place. To so the half length. Okay? So yeah, this the half length is just 2 inches from the underbust measurement. That is just the, the measurement here. Okay? So I'm going to connect the lines. For us to get the flay that is supposed to be here, I'm going to come to this, the, this line. And then I'm going to measure 5 inches here and mark. Okay? 5 inches. So this place is not a uh, constant. It depends on how how full you want the flay to be. Okay? You can you make use of any measurements of your choice here. You can try to use 4 inches, 3 inches, or even 2 inches. It just depends on you. Okay, so but here I'm going to make use of five inches so that the flare will, will be a bit full. Okay, so I measure five inches here. From here I'm going to connect it to this half length, like so. So this is our A line flare. Okay, I hope you understand. So coming to this place, this is the half length again. I'm going to slant it to join the hemline. Okay? Like so. So having gotten our flay, I'm going to come here again. At the hemline, I'm going to come up by one inch and mark. Because I don't want it to have a sharp uh, edge. I don't want it to have a sharp edge. I want it to have a small curve. So I'm going to come here again and measure one inch. Okay, so I'm going to connect it, I'm going to blend it like so. Okay. So I'm going to cut it out now. To set this one aside and then I'll cut the the two I'm going to cut the two back side 
okay? So to cut the back side, I'm going to I'm going to start by adding my zip allowance. I'll be adding two inches zip allowance. Okay. This is my zip allowance. From here to here is shoulder measurement, and then one inch shoulder slope. This is my neck width 3.5, and then this is shoulder allowance. Okay. Then this is my armhole depth. 9 inches just like we did on the front side so to create my armhole cuff I'll measure here my bust measurement is 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches okay my center armhole is 4.5 and uh, mark that is 9 divided by 2 I'm not going to come in by half inch because this is the back side okay I'll just connect this with a curve like so so now we have our armhole curve, okay? The next thing we are going to do is to add our vertical measurements, okay, as usual. My shoulder to bust point is 11 inches, under bust 15 and half length 17, okay? I'm going to rule out the lines. So we are going to create our princess line, okay? And for us to do that, I'll come to the bust point, the bust line, the bust line, okay? I measure our bust pan which is 4.5 and mark okay at the under bust 4 inches at the half length 4 inches okay then I'll connect the lines next thing we are going to do is to take this line to the armhole okay so we are going to measure this place and then we have 5.5 that is 11 divided by 2 will give me 5.5 and then I mark okay so now instead of taking this line to this point I'm going to come up from here I'll measure 1.5 inches okay I'll measure 1.5 inches and then mark then I'll connect this to the 1.5 inches okay that is how I like it okay so if you don't want to do this you can just take your line to this place but for me I, I like I prefer the shape like this so I'm going to connect the line so now we have the princess line as well at the back side okay so I'm going to extend this place by one inch please don't forget to do this if you don't do that the after sewing this after joining the two of them it's not going to be equal so one inch Okay, so I'm going to create another, a new armhole curve, like so, yeah. So the next thing we are going to do now is to add our horizontal measurements, okay. So my bust measurement is 44 divided by 4 is 11, I'll be adding 2 inches allowance. My underboss measurement is 36, divided by 4 is 9. I'll add 2 inches allowance. And then, I'll extend it to the half length. Okay, so I'm going to connect it. So guys, the next thing we are going to do is to come to this hemline. I'm going to measure 5 inches, okay? And mark. Then I'll connect it from here. This from half length, I'll connect it to this place. From here, I'm going to join it to this place. So I'm going to come up by one inch here and mark. I'll come up by one inch again here and mark. So I'm going to slant it like so. Yeah, I'm going to cut it out now. This is our two back side. We're going to set it aside. And then now we are going to cut the center front and the, the center back, okay? So guys, for six pieces center front, this one, all you need to do is put 10 inches on fold, okay? To measure it is 10 inches, just 10 inches on fold. And then you are going to place this one on it. 
So you place it at the edge like this. At this place, you just complete it. Just come here. And from here, measure four inches. Okay? Just measure four inches like so. And then mark. Alright? Just to complete this, this part at the hemline. Alright? So the next thing you do is from this line, you measure your five inches in line flip. Place your tape like this and measure five inches and mark. Okay, so from here, from these five inches, you connect it to the half, to the half length, like so. All right. So all you need to do is just to cut it out. After you cut it out, you remove this one, and then you put the neckline of your choice. All right. So the center will be closed, unlike the eight pieces that will be open at this point. It's as simple as that, all right? So I hope you understand. For eight pieces, I'm going to fold in uh, 16 inches like this. So if I measure this place, this is 16 inches, okay? After folding 16 inches, I'm going to come here and measure six inches like this, okay? And mark six inches so I'm going to place this one I'll place this one like so on the six inches okay this method is very simple I hope you like it and I hope you understand it okay the reason why I added this allowance is for the flip for the flip on the center on the center front Okay, so the next thing I'll do is at this point that is not complete, I'm going to I'm going to complete it. I will just come here and measure four inches here from this place. So this is the under bust, this is the half length, and this is the bust point. Okay, I'll I'll just trace it out, trace out what I have. If you like, you trace it. If you don't like, you just leave it and then cut it. So this is what we have for the front side. So to add my flay at the down part of the center front, I'll come to this place and then I'll measure my five inches and mark. Okay. So I added one inch for sewing allowance here. Okay. So if you can, if you don't want one inch sewing allowance, you can make use of half inch sewing allowance. Okay. So from this one inch sewing allowance, I'm going to measure my five inch, like so. Okay. So from here. From the half length, I'm going to connect it to, to meet this one. And from this space, I'll connect it to meet this five inches here. I hope it's clear. Next thing I'll do is to come up here by one inch. Okay? Because I don't want a sharp edge. I'll come here by up by one inch. So I'll blend it just with a slant curve. So now I'm going to cut it out and we add our neckline. Okay? So we are going to add our neckline. So our neck width is 3.5. Then our neck depth. I'll be using neck depth of 7 inches. Okay. Can you you can you make use of any neck depth of your choice? Round neck. So I'm going to cut it out now. So now we have the center front, okay? So this is this is the sewing allowance. You know, six pieces will not have open for the front side. Okay, but for eight pieces, this center line is this open here. Okay. So when you want to sew it, you are going to sew 
Okay, like this, and then like this. Okay, and then after sewing it, you're going to have your flay like this. The flay will be on the both side, this side, and then this side, and then the center side as well for the eight pieces. Okay. So we are going to cut the the center back. So for the back, the center back. So I'm going to place it like this on the material. Okay. Now for six pieces. For six pieces tall, you don't need this allowance. Okay. If it's six pieces tall, just place it like so. And then add your flay allowance at that side okay our five inches flay allowance if you are using four inches you add four inches for the flay at the downside okay if it is six pieces then there's zip allowance already okay so but since we are making eight pieces top um i'm going to i'm going to give a space like so though it is optional if you don't want flay at the back side of your eight pieces top you are free to do so okay so adding flare at the zip side is optional if you want you add your flare at the zip side if you don't want uh you will not add it okay so but i'm going to add flare at the zip side so for that i i create this allowance here so I just completed this line. From this line, I'm going to measure my five inches and mark. And then at the back side, I'm going to measure my five inches and mark. Okay, so from the from this place, this is the half length. I'm going to connect it like so. And from here, I'll connect the flip. The next thing is to come up by one inch because I don't want a sharp edge. I'll come up by one inch and then come up by one inch. Then I'm going to blend it on this line. So I'm going to cut it out now. So I've just finished cutting it out and I'm going to remove this one. Okay. So mind you, this one we did not open the zip allowance, so it's still your material. Okay, you can use this one maybe to add to your to your hair tie or you use it for your sleeve so that you don't waste any material. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So the next thing I will do now is to add my neckline for the back side. So this is my zip allowance. Okay. So from the zip allowance, I make measure my neck width of 3.5 and I'm making use of um, high neck. I'll go in by 2 inches, neck depth of 2 inches and I'll connect it. You are free to make use of any neckline of your choice. Then I'll extend it to the zip like so and I'll cut it out. So now we have the center back. So this one, I'm going to use it for my skirt, okay? It's actually a skirt and blouse. So guys, now we have our 8 pieces top, okay? Very beautiful 8 pieces top. I believe you understand this uh, method. It's actually very, very easy, okay? Just try it out and let me know what your result is in the comment section. If you have question, feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll attend to it. Okay? So, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright? So, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, for now, it is bye-bye.